Hi, my name is Barbara Allen. I am author of the book Conquering Arthritis. It's been the number one best-selling arthritis book on Amazon.com for over five years now. Today I'm here to talk to you about glucosamine and chondroitin and whether they're safe to use when you have type 2 diabetes. So first, what is glucosamine? It is a substance that adds flexibility and resilience to cartilage and other connective tissue and when you take it, it increases the amount of, um, of a certain kind of chemical called a glucosaminoglycan, glucosaminoglycan um, in your body that helps you produce what you need then to have healthy um, cartilage. And glucosamine on its own can also help lower inflammation. There are studies that have shown that. And chondroitin is another component of cartilage that when you take it orally will help you heal and uh, restore damaged cartilage. So the question with diabetes is there were some studies a number of years ago that used high levels of glucosamine and chondroitin that were injected right into a person. And they, they indicated that um, there might be some problem, well, actually, when they did do that, the people that they did it to had problems with um, blood sugar control. And so the question then came, became um, whether these were bad supplements for somebody that had a type 2 diabetes. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is a study from the Archives of Internal Medicine, July 14, 2003, and it actually asked this question is glucosamine and chondroitin the way they're normally taken, which is um, 1,500 milligrams of glucosamine hydrochloride and 1,200 milligrams of chondroitin sulfate, whether at these oral doses um, it actually is safe for somebody that has diabetes. So the way the study worked was um, it, it went for 90 days, so that's about three months, and they had 34 mostly elderly patients who either received a placebo or this dose of glucosamine and chondroitin each day through their mouth. And um, what they found was that hemoglobin A1C, so that the levels of that didn't change in, in these patients. So why is that important? Well, hemoglobin A1C is a marker for how much glucosamine, I mean, how much glucose sticks to red blood cells. So it's a really good marker for what the blood glucose levels have been in the last three months. So based on the fact that these levels stayed steady and they didn't increase at all when glucosamine and chondroitin were taken, but they stayed steady, um, researchers now conclude that glucosamine and chondroitin at the most common therapeutic dose is a perfectly safe thing for people with type 2 diabetes. So that is really good news because this is one of the most widely used and safest and most effective ways to rebuild cartilage after it's been damaged by anything, whether it's an accident, arthritis, whatnot. So what you do need to know when you're taking these supplements is that um, it's good to have second party verification that you actually have the therapeutic amounts of these um, in, in whatever you're taking. Just because you buy a bottle at a grocery store and it says it has this much um, in however many capsules doesn't mean it's necessarily true. Um, I, would, I would make sure that whatever company had um, second party or third party verification that it was so and, and you, you can go to a health food store and find brands that do have that. So again, my name is Barbara Allen. I am very happy to have talked with you today and I look forward to talking with you again sometime soon.